Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Now with the current pandemic situation, it's never been more important to keep in touch with friends and family. As iPhone users, we're spoilt with the Messages app, but if you want to message with others who don't have iPhones, it can be problematic. So this week, I thought I'd cover one of the most popular cross-platform messaging apps, and that's WhatsApp. Now I've been using WhatsApp since, well, well before the current pandemic, as it's a free app and it allows you to message, to send photos, voice chat or video call using any Wi-Fi connection. You don't need to worry about what platform the other person's using, all they need is a mobile phone, the WhatsApp app and a Wi-Fi connection, so it's perfect for travelling. So let's get started taking a look at WhatsApp. So I've opened the App Store on my iPhone and did a quick search for WhatsApp and this is the official app, it's called WhatsApp Messenger but I'll just refer to it as WhatsApp from this point on. Now WhatsApp itself is actually owned by Facebook, it was acquired by Facebook back in 2014 and incredibly it's grown to over 2 billion users in 180 countries. Now WhatsApp is only available for the iPhone, there is no official iPad app. There are some third party apps for the iPad but no official WhatsApp app because it relies initially at least when you set it up on a cellular connection. Now there is a client available for the Mac called WhatsApp Desktop but you do need to create a WhatsApp account using your iPhone before using this and we'll take a look at WhatsApp Desktop a little bit later on. Now just before we carry on as well, there is a second app called WhatsApp Business which allows companies to communicate with customers using the standard app. But as you can see, I've already installed this application on my iPhone, so let's go ahead and open the app. So through to the welcome screen, there is a privacy policy you can tap on if you want to and you can also look at the terms of service. I'm just going to go ahead and say agree and continue and we're going to allow it to send us notifications. And now I need to confirm my phone number. So you do need to be 16 years old to register and you do, as I say, need to have an iPhone or um, an Android phone, anything that you have a cellular number for. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop in my phone number. And once the phone number's in, just tap done. And we'll confirm the phone number. Okay, there is my SMS code, 493152. So I'll just type those numbers in. Now, strangely, the keyboard isn't appearing on the screen, but I hit done, and now the code is being validated, and we're done. Now, as part of the standard application, you can back up your WhatsApp account uh, to iCloud, but this is the first time I've used it using this particular phone number, so I'm going to go ahead and say skip restore. Into my name while well, I'm using my SEO demo account, so I'm just going to accept SEO demo. Now I could tap on the add photo button above here and that would enable me then either to take a photo or to choose one from my library, but I'm going to leave that for now and I'll just tap done. You now get the option to give WhatsApp permission to access your contacts. I would usually say yes to this, I would say okay, because basically what will happen is WhatsApp will uh, upload your contacts to its servers and then it will identify those people who already have WhatsApp accounts so you can get started with the application very, very quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that. And we're ready to go. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.